Cohort 4 at Wayfinding Academy. Hello, I'm Carl Hayes with Cohort 4. Hi, my name is Ava. I am in Cohort 4. Hi, I'm Jessie. I'm in Cohort 4. Hi, hello. My name is Keeks. Um, also Kiana, but everyone calls me Keeks, and I'm from Cohort 5. Howdy, I'm Luke from Cohort 5. Hey, what's up? I'm Nick, and I'm in Cohort 5. We find Academy is a lot of things to me. Um, I would say it's like a really close-knit community where um, you don't receive a lot of no's. You receive a lot of like, yes, let's figure out how to do that. A place of just open people that you can kind of feel comfortable to talk to and learn with and explore a little bit more about yourself. It challenges the typical schooling system and so it's a way for people who don't typically succeed in the typical schooling system, it's a way for them to succeed and like find a new, new way to, to go about getting an education. Wayfinding Academy is a, like, I want to say like a family, I don't know if that's cheesy or not. It just seemed like a place where people were genuinely good and I have grown up in places where you don't find that often. So. I found it and I was like, this is an opportunity that I really need to take. These people seem to be genuinely here for the well-being of others and for the change that is the American education system. We weren't numbers, we were actual people. Um, and I immediately just knew that that was unique and special and I mean, it's the way that things are supposed to be. So I'm just glad that the school's here and that it's available. The, looking back, to the number one thing that I will remember is every single person that I ran into was uh, a friendly face, um, always had a smile, um, happy to talk, uh, and if they couldn't, then they'd find another time to later. Uh, it's just super inviting. Faces were pretty great, kind of like, wow, I feel heard and like respected in this community, and I don't know, I just really love this place. Just ever since day one, you could tell that people truly do care about you. And I've never been part of a school program where it's just so welcoming and so inviting and everyone's just really excited to be here. Everyone's really excited to learn and grow and there's people here that are willing to support you through it all. And I think that's really special. Jonathan Felipe's class was really just about um, self-reflection for yourself and understanding the world around you, which I never reflected about anything, at least so seriously before since coming to Wayfinding. So just being able to like, well not being able, but being kind of forced to do that was very eye-opening. <laughs> and yeah, I learned more about myself in that moment than my entire life which is intimidating, <laughs> but also amazing. Yeah. They were classes that I feel like teach you life lessons that you're gonna need, like the current class we're taking, like Foundations for Resilience. Um, those, and they've really affected me because they're really interactive classes, um, and I love interactive learning, so I'm actually able to pick up the information and like the amount of projects and stuff that I've done, I like love creating things, so the fact that I get to do projects and express myself in that way has been really beneficial to me. Definitely the internships, getting that opportunity to not only like learn in the workforce, but being able to like try different avenues of what I might want to do as a career. And also understanding that like whatever avenue I choose right now, this might not be the end all be all. And the skills that I'm learning here and now through our labs and through our classes and through my internship, they're skills that I feel like I can take with me for the rest of my life. So for my internship, I am part of the matchmaking team. And um, Jonathan, I, I work with Jonathan and Keeks in November. And Jonathan has been doing a great job of getting me out of my comfort zone. And so what I do is I help potential students who are interested in attending Wayfinding Academy. And I talk to them and um, we all just talk to them about the experience and if they have any questions they could ask us. And um, I told Jonathan this is something I wanna do because I wanna get out of my comfort zone and um, be comfortable with approaching and talking to anybody about anything. 
the internships and the labs. It's been really cool to have all these opportunities to do these little like workshops and get a glimpse into like a world or a field that I might not otherwise have any interaction with. Um, so that's been a great opportunity and just also like the internships like and having the resources of having people who are like excited to help you find opportunities that's been like priceless for me and I've really enjoyed that. Best things about this program is our guide program where we're able to meet weekly, weekly with our guide and just talk about whatever's going on, whether it's classes or just what we want to do in the future. There's a guide that's able to be there for us to support us through, I mean, anything that really comes up and they can just help us with the academic structures, but also just figuring out internships or connecting some pieces to help figure us out what we want to do in the future. I feel like having a personal guide was just like a really good touch to this school because it like kind of put the cherry on top of this like Sunday of like reforming education. And she, my guide Lauren, has just helped me through so much, like not even just academically, like with my life and like through the two years, like all the things that I've been going through, like I've had my guide by my side the whole time. And it's really nice to have somebody, you know, that's there and that you know is truly there for your benefit, there to help you. And she's truly just like one of the most amazing people I've ever met. So it's just being around that energy has really affected me a lot too. And so she's impacted me in a lot of really great ways. So a few things that I'm going to carry with me after the wayfinding experience are just this community-based feeling and how important it is to grow a community wherever you are. And I think I'm going to be able to translate that into business a lot and I'm going to be able to grow a business community or I'm going to be able to do some economic gardening and wherever I decide to land in life. And I'm going to be able to use a lot of these skills that I've developed into growing a network and just growing a community that, you know, all supports one another and backs one another. Be my true self. That's something that I've learned because I have to be my true self. I've learned that your journey does not necessarily have to be solo, that you can go at it with a community, a pack, and that people are there for you and that it's okay to ask for help if you can't do something because there are other people who can help you and that's okay. I've learned a lot about self-confidence from wayfinding and con properly connecting with people, genuine connection, um, being authentic, uh, especially with art. I realized like, a lot of people at Wayfind are like, like in general super cool artists, which like, oh, it mind boggles me sometimes how amazing people are here. Uh, my biggest takeaway is to um, always try to look for new experiences and um, new ideas. Uh, there's just one term, unlearning, and I think that's huge. It's like to break down the barriers of things, of preconceived notions that you might have about something. And, just to go into everything with like a new, fresh mind and um, perspective on it. Um, it's probably the biggest one for me. I think my takeaway from wayfinding is that with a strong knit community and using your community resources and the people you know, there's so much more on the table than what you could do just by yourself. For a really long time, I gave up on life and I really didn't want to try anymore. I felt hopeless and I didn't know what I wanted to do um, and Wayfinding was there and actually gave me some direction and actually made me want to actively try for the first time in so long. I know it's, it seems a bit dramatic but uh, it's the truth. <laughs>